but today I'm going to share with you the easiest and simplest way to teach your students how to simplify algebraic expressions. Also, if you are interested in any of the amazing free resources that I'm going to be sharing with you, feel free to click the link above or below, depending on how you're watching this. Um, there's a link in the description box where you can access some of the totally awesome free resources I'm about to show you in this video. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. So let's jump right in into this super easy technique in making simplifying algebraic expressions for your students super easy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. And as you can see, so I have a blank screen here. So I'm just going to make up an equation. Okay, so here we have, I'm going to write 2a plus 5b minus 9a. Okay, the easiest way I show this to my students every year and it makes it so much easier. All you're going to do is you're going to show your students to box each of the terms. Now, you do have to tell them that the sign, like this addition sign, it belongs to the 5B, so they have to box it together. And this subtraction sign belongs with the 9A. Okay, so now you can look to see if there are matching terms. So I have an A and an A here, so these two match. So I can just bring these down, bring everything down in the box. So I have 2A minus 9A, and then I'm gonna bring my, so then I've used these, so I can cross them out, and then I'm gonna bring my last term down. So now I can easily combine like terms, right? 2A minus 9A, two minus nine is gonna be negative 7A, and then plus, 5b. Since we cannot combine a's and b's, bam, that is it. So I'm going to do one more example, and this time, sometimes there's going to be, you know, distributing that needs to happen. Um, so this is going to be 4 times x minus 7 plus 8x. Okay, so in an example like this, you will tell your students to obviously distribute first. Okay, so we're going to distribute. So we're gonna get 4x minus 28 plus 8x. Now, if you have the ability to use different colors, you can definitely box them in the same color. So what I mean by that is we're gonna box our first term, which is 4x. Do I see any other x's? Yes, here, okay? So I'm gonna make those the same color. Now, my last term here, negative 28, that's going to get its own color. This is so, this is just another tip. If you have the ability for multiple colors, like if you have multiple markers in your classroom or different colors, if you're teaching online like this, it just kind of makes it easier for your students to see which ones match. So, my like terms are here 4x plus 8x, and then my last term that obviously doesn't match is going to be negative 28. So now I can combine my like, my like terms. 4x plus 8x is 12x, and then I have minus 28. And so now this is simplified. Okay, so I mentioned earlier in this video, I have a couple of free resources for you, and they are awesome. The first free resource is a set of printable task cards. So you can see here, there are task cards, there's 15 task cards, and there is an answer key and a page to show your work. If you are in the holiday season, I have another set of printable task cards for you that's holiday themed. And then finally, I have a super awesome, if you are teaching digitally, a simplifying algebra exp expressions digital board game. So your students will just be able to move the pieces and they will be able to answer the question card, this is the draw pile, and then when they've answered the card, they will move it into the discard pile. These are the directions. This is the digital board game, and then this is the answer key if you need one. Again, if you are interested in grabbing 
these free resources, click the link above or below this video. All of these resources are available to you inside of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership, along with hundreds of others middle school math resources. We would love to have you inside of our community. If you would like more information on how to join, click the link below in the description box. Can't wait to see you inside of our membership, and I will see you next time. Bye.